Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get the, apparently the IPSP I slash iPhone portal on your PSP. As you can see, it says iPhone for your PSP, no open source. So, the first step to doing this is to get a PSP. The second step is to get the USB cable for the PSP. If you don't have one, then you can't do this, sorry. Okay, so now you want to go to the website of ipsp.fluidmarkup.com on your computer. Let me repeat that. On your computer, not on your PSP. <sighs> okay. I had no reason to do that, but I wanted to anyway. Okay. Well, let me minimize that. If you already went to it. So I entered it in my internet browser. And I was already there. Trying to make a stink movie. Uh, the same thing as this. Except no. I actually unclicked the use the microphone. Okay. So now. And you do not need. You do not need. Um. Very high. New high tech firmware. It, all it has to be is. Official firmware 2.71 or higher. Any custom firmware above 2.71, I think, will work as Now, if you are lazy and don't want to scroll down, you just click on download and it scrolls down for you. Now, today I'm going to show you how to do easy installer, of course, the easiest one. So I'm clicking on that. And for those people, that think their PSP is broken just because it's dead they're stupid okay now you want to save the file so I'm saving it it's saving it's saving well I have actually two of them because the wreck last time okay so cl double click on that it says welcome to PS sorry I just missed Minimize, minimize that junk. Okay. And sorry for the background, it's a little annoying, I know. Okay. Welcome to the IPSP installation program. Click next. Next. I agree with the terms and conditions. Next. Okay. If you don't want to do this, then leave. Okay. But anyway, you get to this. Now, you want to plug into your PSP cable to your PSP and turn on your PSP and go to USB connection. So, I'm going to do that. And it will say, please wait. Now, it says USB mode. Mode. Sorry. My tongue is messed up. And the thing's going to pop up. It's going to have all your stuff in it, like your background and your pictures. No, oh, there. Oh, what is that? Or whatever, but this is it, and apparently, and you want to look up here. Who we don't care about this crap, so just kind of erase that from your mind. Look up the name. Mine says removal disk E. It depends what your slot yours is in. It's not the same as mine. I can guarantee you. Well, not all the time. If you put in, if you have the same exact computer and put it in the same exact spot, then uh, maybe. Anyway. So you want to put that in, and look at this. It says removable disk E. So I'm going to keep that in my mind, and click on the dot, dot, dot in the PSP installation program. So it's loading, and now you want to go into, sorry, hold on, what the, what is that? Oh, sorry, I already have it on my computer, so you don't want to remove that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you want to go... Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. I think you just press removable. Movable. Disk. Yeah, this might not be right, so I just forgot how to do it. E, let's see. Next. No.
So, it's in removable disk key. I'm so sorry for that. Look at my computer if it's in there. I highly doubt. Oh, it is in there. So, go into my computer and it should have a bunch of tabs up, which are these. Click minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Okay, back to that. So, they have all this crap up here. I'm sorry for the language. I know it's not that bad, but anyway, for those little kids, you want to go to the disk yours is in. Apparently, mine is in removable disk E, so I'm going to click on that and press OK. Don't click on the anything ab below it. So you want to go to Next, This and it says this program will install IPSP 1.1 into E, the whatever, slash thingy. Press Start. And on your PSP, there will be a gray line leaving tracks going across the screen. Well, most of it. And it is loading, because I already have it on. It's going to be even bigger, which is really annoying. And, it'll, and this will take up about a couple of... I don't know. But it takes up not a lot of space on your PSP. To me, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a lot of space on my PSP. Because I barely even use it. Well, I love it, but I don't even use it. Anyway... So it's loading, and it's got 63%, so let's keep going. And once it gets to 100, which it probably soon will be, and those who don't think I'm telling the right thing and there's not a gray line on your screen, look at right next to the, right to the left of the analog stick, and, and there's a red light blinking. It will stop when it's done. Now, it says... Click the following button if you want to, whatever. Just click exit. Now, it's on your PSP. You don't have to worry about the other keys. Sorry. <laughs> I just felt like using that. Anyway, you want to go to this address on your PSP. And not the one I was just showing you. It is... Hold on a second. I think it, well, I know this is what begins with it. Okay, I need to get the other rest, and so I have to go, uh, sorry. Don't do any of the things I'm telling you to do. Well, no, do one, but n never mind. Just, just keep on going. Okay, yeah, I was right so far. Now I want to go to I slash IPSP slash index.html. Index dot html oh sorry oh i'm using one hand so of course it's going to be slow and then you click run and it will show up run enable enable um enable javascript and you want to click yes and so you do that and it should pop up as something looking like the iphone and you use the analog stick to move around your mouse and click X to click it. Now, when you go on stuff, I don't know if it will work, but I know the games are fun. They have DDR and stuff like that they can play. And so I think you enjoy. Thanks for watching. And if you have any, any questions, email me on my YouTube account. Or if you don't have one, you... Uh, I guess you can aim me at J J K O L. I mean, uh, never mind. Just don't aim me at all. I spelled it wrong. So, <laughs> well, bye. Stupid thing. I said bye.